Hey there everyone, how's it going? I'm Tarun and in this video we're going to continue on with our web development series. This is the first video of our CSS series. So what are you waiting for? Let's get right into it. So first of all, I would like to show you the GitHub repository of this series. You could just go there and you could like click here and download it and extract it and you could follow along or you could type it for yourself okay so just like that and in this video in particular I would like to show you not Facebook but one cool feature that each and every web developer must know it is how to use a Chrome developer tool okay Chrome dev tools are super awesome they make your job pretty easy like they don't help you in coding or they don't give you some syntax or something but they help you inspect what you have uh, done until now right so for example we have this facebook.com right so once we come here if it if you would like to know the code of this page uh, how they have uh, layouted this thing and other all every sort of things you have to just right click and if you see here inspect element right once you click that, it is going to open up a sidebar and show you the code of the page and the styling they've used, the JavaScript they've used, okay, everything. For example, not only that, I'll show you one more trick. So you have this, uh, it says Facebook helps you, blah, 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 right? You just right click and give inspect element. It's going to open this new uh, window kind of thing. Uh, it can be uh, on the bottom or it may be on the side or or the right side okay depending on you, uh, your uh, whatever you have done so if you would like to switch it to the right side then you see a button here which shows uh, which tells like the sidebar thing just when you click it it's going to uh, take the window to the right okay so depending upon whatever you're testing you could uh, arrange it then now since we right click on that and gave inspect it is going to directly take you to the tag which has the content of that particular uh, thing which you um, right clicked on so it is this div class equals to something which they have used their language okay so you have this one facebook helps you connect and share with the people in your life right that is what that says now for instance if i delete that and if i say Okay, so I've typed this, learn coding, it'll make your life better. So once I hit enter, just see the magic. Cool, so it made that, it transformed the text there into learn code, it'll make your life better. Again guys, this is not any sort of hacking or things. If somebody says this is hacking, then just don't believe them. This is not at all hacking because it's not going to change something in the server or something. Because if I just reload this page, it's going to come back to its original text. But the main idea is you'll be able to test your code right from here. And if you would like, suddenly you come here and you do not know which class or which uh, div it falls under, you just give right click and if you give inspect element, it's going to show you exactly the label ID input and this thing. And it's going to show you the CSS on the right side here in the bar. So whatever you change in here is just going to affect temporarily here so that you could just test with it. For example, here the color is white um, let's just see what would happen if we change it I don't know what it stands for cool so it had uh, this this color right it changed into black okay so it's for testing now just um, look at the screen once I reload it's going to change back to its original thing okay so so this is the idea of uh, inspecting okay, Chrome Dev Tools we'll be using it throughout this uh, series throughout the course or throughout the entire uh, web developer life okay it, it is an important feature which everyone will use so you see how we are going to use this and how we are going to get benefited uh, through this so can't wait to see you in the next tutorial see you there